Hi. I know, they're, you know, they are doing those funny things like, hi, hello, and then it's totally different. I don't know how to do it, so I'll... Okay, so here's the deal. I've been asked to record third video, very short one, on senior housing options. So let's talk about it. So I will do right now with the hand and see if that works, all right? So I'm doing this. Hi, I did that. What is it working? Okay, let's okay, let's move on. Three groups of senior housing options. The group number one, totally basic because you are totally on your own. Well, it's not true. You're not on your own, but it's called aging in place. You are on your own. You decide what to add, what service to add. So like. Um, caregiving services, meal delivery, transportation, um, caregiving, you can add that along the way as you age. It's probably the cheapest option because you are still living in your own house and you're just adding those different services along the way. Group number two, retirement communities. They also called as senior communities, the older adults communities, active adults communities. The common ground, age restricted communities. And the age restriction, 52, 55, 65, something along the lines. Depends on the community. Common link, you are living in your own apartment or a house, bought there in that community, inside of the community, and you have access to several different activities like interest groups, clubs. So you can use different facilities there like um, recreation centers, swimming pools, spas, and tennis courts, pickable courts, bocce court, just Depends on the community again. Uh, there are different senior communities. As I mentioned, you can buy an apartment or a house, but also you can get your own RV. There are like senior communities, but for RV fans. There are mobile home, mobile houses, the retirement communities. They, those are mobile houses or manufactured houses. Again, different types, different budgeting. So pretty much the common ground is you are still independent but you are living in that age-restricted community, which gives you access to different activities and different facilities. Group number three. I will, I will do the hand again, like this. And, hi. Well, that was probably a little bit too far. <laughs> I will just get back here. All right, group number three. So what is group number three? Group number three, those are organized facilities. Again, age-restricted, but with a different level of care. And this is probably the most complex group of those organized facilities, because you have something called independent living facilities, then you have assistant living facilities, then you have memory care facilities and nursing homes, and you can pick and choose whichever you want to get to, uh, and they can be run by different companies. But also, you have access to something called CCRC, and the abbreviation stands for Continuing Care Retirement Community. So that CCRC community gives you access to all of those different levels, independent, assistant living, memory care, nursing home, under one umbrella, within one community. You So for example, you start with the independent living, and then you will just go to the higher level of care based on your needs. That continuing care retirement communities are probably the most expensive, at least those that I um, searched for, those that I visited, they were expensive because the entry fee sometimes could be several hundred of thousands of dollars, if not more, depends on the standard. So it's sometimes very tough to get there because it's so expensive, but it could be great option for many people. Then that was the continuing care retirement communities. Now let's talk about those where you just go to that organized facilities, but you pick and choose which one you want to go to, and they are based on monthly rent. So you just pay month to month to live there. With the continuing care retirement communities, you paying also month to month, but you have to provide that entry fee, which is very, very high. What kind of levels do we have and one, what they offer? So independent living facilities, those are again, as I said, independent living. They most of the time looks like hotels, 
probably the closest description. It's like comparison would be hotels. You have meals provided to you. You have a different type of activities provided. You have transportation provided. You have different um, activities I mentioned and very basic level of care. You have housekeeping services provided, uh, laundry and stuff like that. Uh, this is basic level of care, so still not as expensive as the next. You're independent, you have your own car, you drive, you do whatever you want. Well, uh, yeah, pretty much that's how it looks like. The common ground, you're living in that specific facility and you are sharing common areas. You have your own apartment, you can choose different type of apartments, but you are sharing the common areas with others. Now, the next level would be assisted living facilities. Those will offer you several different levels, levels of care based on your needs. Now, when you go and do the research on assisted living facilities, please make sure what are those prices for different levels of care and check the most expensive as well, because if you can afford a cheapest one, the, the basic level of care in assisted living facilities, you have to make sure that you will be able to pay also for the most, the, the highest level of care that they offer. Because if you are going to live there till the day you die, or for many, many years to come, you need to know if you can afford month to month payments if they increase based on the level of care. Assisted living facilities, they look almost like independent living facilities. They look like hotels. So you have your apartment and you have the common areas with activities, with meals provided to you, with transportation, with basic level of care. But those levels, you have the basic level of care. And then if you have additional level of levels of care, they can provide caregiving services, uh, medication management services, um, help with bathing, grooming, dressing, um, feeding, all of that. Now you moved from assisted living facility, you need more help. That would be memory care facilities or nursing homes. These memory care facilities are for people with Alzheimer or different types of dementia. You have 24 seven supervision because they need to make sure that people are taken care of and they are safe. So that's memory care. And of course that they have a different activities based on their needs. They have activities of daily living. So the bathing, grooming, dressing provided. And this is memory care facility. Then you have nursing home facilities. And nursing home facilities probably I would compare the closest to a hospital. So we have one or two residents per room. Um, most of the time they are not moving much because they just need more caregiving help. 24 seven monitoring, medication management, um, nursing staff 24 seven. So all of those are provided. In my personal opinion, I would say when it comes down to independent and assisted living facilities, you as a resident of that facility, you are very much independent. You are your own person. You can decide if it's something is working for you or not. When it comes down to memory care facilities and nursing homes, in most cases, you need additional help from your loved ones or your friends. Well, again, loved ones. If you have someone who will be able to make sure that everything is up to the standard that you were promised, this is so crucial because really you cannot protect yourself as much as you would in an independent living facility or assisted living facility. So those are those organized facilities. Okay, then you have something called group homes. Group homes, they look exactly like regular houses in regular residential neighborhoods. You don't even know that there is a group home next to your house. Well, maybe you do, but probably you don't. Group homes, so you have the regular house where you have between two to nine residents and um, you have caregiving staff 24 seven. Those people are taken care of with different levels of care. Most of the time it's almost like a nursing home level of care, but on a very small scale. It's also more affordable in many cases. Again, depends on the standard. And then after those are the end of those three groups, then you have additional unique type of retirement housing options. A retirement on a cruise ship. 
Yeah, that's right. There are several people who are choosing that option. So they travel all around the world on a cruise ship and they are going from one cruise to the other cruise. Uh, quite a few years ago, that was more affordable option. Nowadays, it's getting more and more expensive. So we would have to get into it and check the pricing on that one. But that's kind of, I would say, adventurous retirement, if you will. Then you have also option called co-housing. So you live in a small community, like very, very micro community with people from different demographics and you're um, coexisting together, sharing some of the responsibilities and it might help to lower the costs of living. So that could be the option. And I think this is something that we should look into even more within upcoming decades. And um, maybe that would be the option for those who cannot afford um, one of the different types of retirement housing options. So that's it. Under 15 minutes, I was able to do it. So I'm kind of proud of myself, but it's not about me. It's about the senior housing options. I hope it was helpful. It's maybe not as complicated, but when it comes down to finances, you have to be very, very strict and make sure if you can afford because that's a many years to come and that you will have to make sure that you have money to do it. So budgeting, planning is very important. It's also the whole transition that moving from your own house, if you decide to, to a different community, that's not easy. And I wish you all the best. Do your research. In a description down below, you will have a link to the blog post I created where you have many, many links to useful articles and resources that might help you to get closer to get crack that whole senior housing system and make sure that you selected the best option for you or for your loved ones if you try to help them. But don't force them, just help them, support them, ask what they want. It's not easy. The transition is very, very crucial and usually it's very, very tough. So good luck, stay safe, stay groovy. See you next time. So I will do the thing with the hand again. So I will just do this and and what? I will, okay, I will do this and say bye-bye. Oh no, I will just do this. <laughs>